So we're going to be exploring a bit more of Adobe After Effects here on my design class today. What we're going to be covering is the basics of opacity. So how we can actually change the transparency of any layer in After Effects. So we're going to be covering how we can animate it just by using keyframes, as well as one or two fun expressions that we can add to it to make it more interesting. Great, so I already have After Effects open. So what we have is a simple text object and a background layer just to make it slightly more interesting. So what we're going to be doing is actually changing the opacity of this opacity text layer. So what I'm going to do is just select the layer itself. So I'm on the selection tool, which is just to the left of the hand tool and the shortcut to it is V. And what we can do is just press on the layer itself, or you can go down to the timeline panel and just press on the layer here. So what we're going to do in order to bring up the opacity is just press T, the letter T on our keyboard. This is for both Windows and Mac. And as you can see, we now have the transform property of opacity appear just underneath our layer. And what we have is three key elements, the name opacity, just to make sure that we're on the correct thing. We have a stopwatch, which allows us to create keyframes and animate the opacity. And then we've also got a percentage, which is actually how transparent our layer is. So opacity is valued in percentages. So at the moment, as you can see, it's set to 100%. And this means that the layer is fully visible. There is no transparency going on at all. But if, for example, it would be at 0%, the layer would be fully transparent and we could not see it at all. So in order to change this value, all you have to do is hover over it with your mouse. And as you can see, our cursor changes to this hand with two arrows pointing left and right. And all you have to do is hold your left mouse button and drag to the left in order to decrease the opacity. And you can go right in order to increase it again. It's very, very simple. Now we have two limits, which is 100%. You can't go any higher than 100%. And obviously you can't go any lower than 0% because then it's already fully transparent. So you can set it to any degree between these two percentages. And as you can see, we can get a sort of mix between the two if you go to a value closer to 50%. So at the moment it's 40%. So in order to actually animate this transform property, all we have to do is go to the stopwatch, which is just to the left of the word opacity. And just by pressing on that once, as you can see, it's now blue, which allows us to actually keyframe this property. So as you can see where our indicator is currently set to zero frames and zero seconds, we have now a blue keyframe. If it's blue, it means basically that you have it selected and you can actually change the value. So basically what this keyframe means is just as it says when I hover over it, at zero frames and zero seconds, the opacity has to be 100%. So if I actually want to animate this, all I have to do is move my indicator. So let's say at one second, I want it to be 0%. All I have to do is press on the number once and input the value 0%. Or you can use the dragging using the left mouse key that we just did, but I'm just gonna input it because I know exactly which value I want and just press off it. And as you can see, just like we had before, it's 0%, so we can't actually see our text anymore. And basically what After Effects is going to do is it's going to calculate between these two points what the opacity should be and create a smooth transition between the two. So if I now press spacebar in order to play this animation, as you can see, the transition is very smooth and it just goes from 100% to 0% every time. So this is essentially how we actually animate the opacity. Now you can actually add more keyframes. So for example, let's say you wanted to stay at 0% for two seconds. Well, all we'd have to do is create a new keyframe of 0% here. So you can either do that by pressing on this again and pressing enter and inputting 0% again, or you can actually also press on this small icon here, which is a small diamond with a gray space in the middle. If you just press on that once, you can see it goes blue and it adds a keyframe at the exact same value that it's currently set at, which was 0%. And then let's say we want it to go back up to 50% maybe here at three seconds. I can just input 50. And we can go to four and decrease it to 25% again. As you can see, I'm just making something very random and then go to five seconds and go all the way back up to 100%. And now if we go to the start and just press play, as you can see, it's going to go 100, 0, 0, 50, 25, 100. So it's just going to play this animation where it's going to transition between each of these keyframes. And obviously you don't actually have to stick to one second intervals. If you want to move any of these keyframes, all you have to do is select it and move it just by dragging it in either direction.
So as you can see, you can fully customize a full composition of just all sorts of opacity changes. Now, if I just quickly delete these last four and just go back to the original two that we had, as you can see, the transition is currently from zero to one second. If you want it to be much quicker, move this second keyframe much, much closer. As you can see, the transition happens much, much quicker. You can actually go as close as one frame, in which case it just quickly jumps out. Or you can make it much, much longer and go to three seconds, for example. As you can see, it now takes much, much longer to actually animate out. So this is how you can actually just affect the speed of the transition for the opacity. Great, so let's actually go over one or two exciting things that we can do with expressions. So I'm actually gonna get rid of all of the keyframes just by pressing on the stopwatch again. And as you can see, it goes from blue to gray. So we have no animations going on anymore. And in order to create an expression, all we have to do is hold Option or Alt on our keyboard and press on the stopwatch. And as you can see, the value has gone red. And now we have this whole new thing where we can add an expression for opacity. So the expression that we're going to be adding is called the wiggle expression. Sounds a bit odd, but it'll make sense. So if I type in wiggle, as you can see, it's this second option and just press enter. So there's two values that we have to input for the wiggle expression. The first one is frequency and the second one is amplitude. So what the wiggle expression actually does is it takes this value. So currently it's set to 100% and it actually fluctuates it at a set frequency over time by a certain amount that you define within the amplitude. So it's slightly hard to explain. And what I'm initially gonna do is actually set this to 50%. So we're not creating any keyframes. We haven't actually got a stopwatch blue. All I've done is set the initial opacity to 50%. So what we're going to do just by reselecting this expression is we're going to input two values. So first of all, how many times per second do we actually want this change to occur? Well, let's start off with just one. So I'm just going to type in one. And then in order to input the second value, we're just going to separate it by using a comma. And then the second value is the amplitude. So how much do we actually want to change it by? Now, it's not always going to stick to the same value. It's actually going to be random. And in order to make this very, very clear to see and dramatic, what I'm actually going to do is put 30. And then just press off of the expression. And as you can see, that caution sign has gone and the expression will now work. So as you can see, the initial value has already changed. It's actually at 57 now. So if I move along, as you can see, it's going to keep fluctuating at a margin of 30 each way. And this basically creates an effect where if I just press play, it randomly changes the opacity of our layer a certain amount of times per second by a certain set amount of degrees. So this is just a cool way in order to fluctuate it without actually having to make loads of keyframes you can make the change much, much more apparent. So we could say, actually, we want to change it five times per second and we want the degrees to be, let's say, 50. And as you can see, it's now going to be very, very sharp and contrast changes. It's going to take just a little while to actually calculate it and render it. Once it's done that, I'm just going to quickly go back to the start. And as you can see, we now have a very dramatic animation. So this is just a cool way in order to change the opacity at a random rate over time. You can mimic all sorts of effects, for example, the flickers in the projectors or all sorts of things by using this technique. You can also apply the wiggle animation to your other transform properties, so position, rotation, scale, anything that uses a value. So once again, I'd highly encourage you to check out the other videos that I have done on those other transform properties, because this is just a cool thing that you can do in order to make it a bit more interesting. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're interested in learning how you can actually apply motion blur to your animations in After Effects, then do check out the video in the top right hand corner of the end screen. And otherwise, do remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and do subscribe to make sure you never miss a new After Effects tutorial.